that that strike last night has had this deadly damage. They are images and stories that are hard to watch and take in for this Kelowna woman. It's uh, totally wrong what's happening right now. She's not Ukrainian, though. She is Russian, having spent half her life there. I'm Russian, but I'm on, uh, I stand up um, the Ukraine. Zvenimira Moskovskaya is in full support of Ukrainians, denouncing Vladimir Putin and his actions, and instead throwing her support behind Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. I said he's the bravest uh, president uh, in the world. Moskovskaya says the atrocities being committed in Ukraine at the hands of the Russians have her feeling ashamed of her Russian heritage. Yes, I feel shame, very shame. So much so, she even wants to forfeit her Russian citizenship and only hold on to her Canadian one. Uh, after war, I want to uh, um, um, deny it, I want to reject my uh, Russian citizenship. Moskovskaya has been very vocal of her support for Ukraine, working closely with the charity group Kelowna Stands with Ukraine, showing up at rallies and other events. Something she says does not sit well with some of her Russian friends and family, criticizing her, including on social media. They attacked me. And this is so, like, a uh, big surprise for me. My friends, Russian friends, they against what I'm I'm talking about. Denis Storzhuk is the president of Kelowna Stands with Ukraine and hopes Moskovskaya speaking out inspires other Russians to do the same. Well, I'm sure there are millions of Russians who uh, support Ukraine, uh, both outside of Russia and inside the Russia. Regrettably, inside the Russia, they're just afraid to talk. They pass the stupid laws like just for saying the truth about the war, you can uh, jail up to 15 years. Moskovskaya says she won't stop speaking out against her homeland and wonders how Russians who sat back and did nothing will feel once the war is over. How are Russians going to look at the Ukrainian people's eyes? We're going to look at them uh, with shame. And for some, maybe even regret. Claudia Van Emmer, Global News, Kelowna.